Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to another episode of Cyber Tech Talk where I give you all the tea on who has been attacked. Happy New Year's! I know, I know I've been MIA, I've been trying to get my life together. Uh, but welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm trying to get a video out, get myself back on schedule. So I'm gonna read the article with you today so I didn't take any notes we're just gonna read the article if you hear the noise in the background just ignore it all right so today we're actually talking about wrenches hackers attacking network wrenches I had to read this article a couple of times because I'm like like ranches like nuts and boat wrenches like Am I looking at the right thing? So I was like, but yes, but yes, hackers uh, can affect network connected wrenches to install ransomware. Let's break it down. All right, so this article actually came out on January 9th, 2024. It says uh, researchers have discovered 2,000 vulnerabilities that could allow hackers to sabotage or disable a popular line of network uh, connected wrenches um, that factories around the world use to assemble sensitive um, instruments and devices. Now, I, would, I get electric. I would get the, you know, so you won't have to keep using a risk, but network, like you would have wrenches on the network. All right. All right. So it continues to say that a research company, a firm called Nozomi, N O Z. O M I. Um, yeah, I'm not even gonna read it. Just let's say there's a wrench, or uh, the name of the device in question is called Net Runner, and then it goes on and, and shows like the versions and stuff like that. But Net Runner, so it's a cordless device which wirelessly connects to the local network of the organizations that uses uses it uses it it allows engineers to tighten bolts um, and other mechanical fastenings that are critical for safety and reliability when fastenings are too loose they risk causing the device to overheat and start fires when it's too tight, the threads can fail and result in uh, the torques that are too loose. So the nut run provides a torque level indicator display that's backed by a certification from the Association of German Engineering. And it goes on to tell you. So, in the article, it actually gives you um, a screenshot um, that lets you know how tightened it is and when to start it. This is, like, interesting. But this device had 23 vulnerabilities. Sorry for the noise. Um, that can be exploited to malware. The malware could then be used to disable the entire fleet of devices or to cause them to tighten fastens too loosely or tightly where the display continues to indicate the critical settings are still properly in place. It says the officials emails the uh, officials emailed a statement that included the usual line about security being a top priority. It went on to say that they reached out a few weeks ago to reveal the vulnerabilities 
and immediately took up the device and is working on a patch to solve the problem. It says the patch will be released at the end of January 2024. Okay, that's where I have a problem. This is where I have a problem. So you have a device that you actually have to put a wrench on the local network that you have to tighten it so much where it can cause harm if tightened too loose or tightened too tight. And this article came out in the beginning of January. And you're saying that a patch is not available till the end of January. So what is happening to the, the, these devices in between this time? Are we taking it off the network? Do we have another device in place? Or do we just have this single point of failure? Like what else is in place while this one is on commission? And being that this particular device is used all around the world, what are we doing? What are we doing? I think that is too long to patch something when you know your company could be hit by ransomware, then you got malware, then it could be used to sabotage the equipment that you are working on. It says that the vulnerabilities found on this device allow an unauthenticated attacker who is able to send network packets to target device to obtain remote execution to, to, to retain a remote execution code with root privileges, completely compromising it. So someone who is unauthorized can get root privileges and if you're in this field we know that the root privileges is you can add delete make configuration changes shut it down you can do any and everything to the system if you have root privileges completely compromising it once this unauthorized access is gained numerous attack scenarios become possible within the lab environment within the um, within their lab environment they successful, successfully reconstructed two scenarios ransomware now this is in a lab environment so they tested this out in the lab environment which is good so one they had they was able to uh do ransomware where they made the device completely inoperable where it cannot work at all probably by preventing a local operator from controlling the drill through the onboard display and disabling the trigger button. So you can't even, you can't do the touch screen display. You can't, you can't fire it off. You can't do nothing. Furthermore, they could alter the graphic user interface, which is the GUIs, the, uh, the display where the people like me or people like you uh, who uses it, the touch screen where we interact with. So they're able to alter the, the uh, GUI interface by showing a message on the screen requesting payment of a ransomware that is bold that is a bold man <laughs> given the ease with which this attack can be automated across numerous devices an attacker could swiftly render all tools on production line inaccessible potentially causing Disruptions to a fine. That is crazy. Because you got root access to this device, you have access to everything. So not only are you you shutting down one device, you can shut out a whole production line. And you telling me you're gonna wait till the end of April to patch this? Crazy. They got a picture of it. And the second thing they said they was able to do in the lab was manipulate the control interview. They managed to uh, secretly alter the configuration 
of tightening the programs, which is by increasing or decreases the target value. At the same time, by patching in-memory the GUI on the onboard display, they can show a normal value to the operator who will make a completely unaware of a change. That is crazy. That is crazy. So, on the manipulation view and the control of the GUI itself, they can actually... <laughs> They can actually change it where it looks normal on the view where the employees are looking at. Like on your screen, everything is good to go, but on the back end, it is raging chaos. That is, these people are smart. They are smart. That is crazy. It doesn't say anything. The article doesn't say anything of what the company is doing to fix it other than patching at the end of the uh at the end of the month it ain't saying nothing about you know notifying the users notifying the customers taking it offline getting a replacement it ain't saying nothing about that that's crazy crazy to me If it ain't about me. <laughs> oh my God, that is crazy. But anywho, hope you guys enjoyed this. Like always, I'll put in the, uh, the article in the description below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.